Let's see how we can use probability proportionate to size, or PPS techniques, to identify the items that will be priced. A sugar manufacturing establishment reports the production values and shares as shown here. To select the items, we'll set a series of ranges of the cumulative shares covering all consecutive numbers from 1 through the total share of 100. The range for the first product category, raw cane or beet sugar, runs from 1 through 10.7, which we round up to 11. The range for each additional category covers all consecutive numbers above the cumulative share reached with the previous unit through to the cumulative value reached with the current unit. For refined sugar, the cumulative value is calculated as 69 plus 11. So the range for refined sugar is 12 through 80, and for molasses, it is 81 to 100. Next, we select six items for this establishment. To do this, we'll need six random numbers between 0 and 100. Here are the random numbers in this example. Based on these random numbers, we've selected one raw cane or beet sugar item since the first random number is one and is between zero and 11. We've chosen three refined sugar items as random numbers 13, 38, and 62 are between 12 and 80. And two molasses items since random numbers 84 and 96 are between 81 and 100. Our item weights are then calculated as the production value of the selected category divided by the number of items selected. For example, 20.3 million divided by one gives us the weight for item one. For items two, three, and four, we get the item weights as 130.9 million divided by three. For items five and six, we get the item weights as 38.5 million divided by two items, which gives us 19.25 million.